welcome back to my channel today we are tackling my creative hub i'm actually going to do a photo wall as well as organize everything that's over here and make it more sufficient um in this video i'm also going to share a really really unique coffee recipe that i came up with using my nespresso so i'm going to call this a coffee and clean with me i have to also mention that this is a collaboration with ebony so here's ebony to introduce herself Hey guys, my name is Ebony. I am a mother to two beautiful boys, ages one and nine, and I am also a wife. My husband's in the military. And on my channel, I post beauty, mama life, and cleaning motivation videos. I also post decor videos as well. So if that's something that you like, I would love to have you over at my channel. After you get through watching this beauty's video, head on over to my channel. Don't forget to comment and let me know that you came over, and I hope to see you over there on my channel. Bye. If you are a coffee lover like me, please give this video a thumbs up right now. Guys, I love coffee and I love my Nespresso. When I say Starbucks could never, they could never have to come up with this. But this is my recipe here. It is called Cookie Delight Nespresso Coffee Recipe and I created it myself. These are all the ingredients that you will need. You can also find this on my Instagram page. So we're going to first start with, of course, putting our cup on the Nespresso. I have a Nespresso Virtuo. Um, machine and the first thing I'm going to do is open up my milk frother and put my creamer in the milk frother. I'm using maple caramel creamer. Now I forgot to add this but you really don't need this. I use raw sugar in my coffee but I don't need it for this recipe because it was honestly sweet enough. I could have held out on the sugar. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and froth my milk. I like to froth my milk cold so you hold the button for two seconds on this to froth it cold. Um, while we wait for that, we're going to go ahead and get the coffee going. As you see, I picked the caramel cookie one, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in my Nespresso and get it going. I'd like to dream. Keep on dreaming about us, baby. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon. I didn't think it was going to pick up and it really didn't, but I'm going to use a tablespoon of this um, syrup. This is a cookie dough syrup. I actually found this at Home Goods. You can find all sorts of flavors at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They always have these um, syrup flavors. So I went on and got that. And then I'm going to pour my almond milk maple caramel creamer into the actual coffee. And just look how good that looks, guys. Oh my goodness. I can taste it all over again <laughs> we actually once had some caramel stairs but we used them all so I'm just going to use my metal straw to stir it all up and mix it all together before adding the toppings So I'm adding this whipped foam topping that I found at TJ Maxx and then some pinches of chocolate chip crumbled cookie and voila guys I love this coffee it is my new favorite go-to mm. I love this now there's some chores in this house there's some chores in this house yeah quick disclaimer when I turn this camera around, don't judge me. Who spell ridiculous in the comment section for me? Thank you. Because this is what this is, ridiculous. So we're going to get this done. I'm going to actually be adding my little gallery wall right there on this blank space. I'm actually going to go through this, these two containers to see 
what materials we already have for fall. You see my rug there that actually goes out here. Um, that rug, yeah, it actually goes out here. I did a shop with me. You saw when I picked that up from at home. And the stuff that's under here, it got to go. So let's knock it out. But do you also see how, like, it's no lighting? I bought some lighting to go under here. So I'm going to try my hand at installing it, but let's just go ahead and get it popping. It's time, sis. It's time. We can't. I can't. You can't. Before I start, I got to put some cleaning motivation on the TV. Like, there's no way I'm getting this done without you guys, okay? Shout out to all my cleaning motivation channels. Oh, it's a flying here, and we gonna fight. But shout out to all my cleaning motivation channels, or if you have cleaning motivation content on your channel, shout out to you, because I'm about to watch one of y'all right now. Somebody. All right, Ebony girl, let me see what you did with the homeschool space. to work on my gallery wall over there and what I'm putting up there is my educational accomplishments I'm trying to find my teacher license is over here somewhere I got I want to put that in a frame as well so my educational accomplishments and my teacher like including my teacher license so career stuff I got this create sign um, and then I have another, let me go get it. Hold on. I'm going to show y'all what I got real quick. Like, I got this. I love it. It says broken crayon still color. I like that it was black and white. It had this color on it. You know, that's my thing. I bought this. I got that from at home. I just went to at home and got that maybe. I just went to at home and got that about a week ago. Then I have this black and white standard one that says create. And then I got these frames from at home as well. And I put my um, degree, educational accomplishments in it. And um, I got one more because I want to put my teacher license in it, which is over here somewhere. I need to get it down. I think I put it up in the file thing. But put my teacher license in this. That goes on the wall and then I bought this cute little frame and I'm going to put this picture, I'm going to put the picture beside me, I'm going to put this picture inside of this frame. I thought it was cute. It says be fierce. I don't know if you can, if it's picking up that down here, but I was thinking about painting the wood, the white wood plaques like um, 
rainbow colors comment down below should i do that or is the picture already doing enough i don't have to do that comment down below and let me know but we're going to get that up there and then hold play hold 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 and then lastly i got another dog picture right but i thought these were cute and so cute for the office space these little dogs on all of the different colorful books and of course it just adds to our animals that's in the house is getting real doggy dog around here though because you know my other dog goes on this wall so i got all of these and i'm going to hang them up using the picture hanging stripes because as you saw me struggle that's why i don't do nails on the wall i don't know how to put that up and Dante's not here. He's at work. And I like to just get things done real, real quick. So, we're going to do it with this. So, let's go ahead and do that. I want to get to your clothes, got to get it right now. I want to push all the limits with you right now. So watch your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight. We're living quick in the world, got to get it right now. People talk and tell what you want to So this little frame was so frustrating, guys, and you will see me get frustrated time and time again. First frustration was it didn't tell me what size picture this was, so... I didn't want to just guess it so I literally looked up the frame on at home and found the size and then you see me here finding I mean trying to size my picture to print to this two by two sides that is on here and it kept printing big wasting my ink and it was just annoying last there was light at the end of the tunnel we have a victory guys a victory okay to me why don't you do it right now you know we met for a reason but you're trying to deny that we should be together it's heavy weather we're heading for tonight you better take what you can because the time is right now Moving on to actually hanging the gallery wall. So my camera lighting is going to keep going in and out and it's something about this Canon GS, GX7 camera that does that when it doesn't pick up your face it kind of like does weird things with the lighting but i've learned how to adjust the settings since shooting this so it doesn't happen as often anymore
materials that we have here is ridiculous i don't think i would have to buy school supplies for at least a good two years as far as like pencils and crayons and markers like the back stock is endless and speaking of that word back stock anybody here watch the home edit comment down below if you've watched the home edit on netflix if you are a part of this cleaning community and you have not watched it please give it a go it is so motivating a teacher's favorite thing is flare pens okay they don't bleed. Perfect for us left-handed teachers because the way we write, a lot of the times pens bleed. These do not, and I love them. So if you're looking to send me something, send me some flare pens. This is a great read and I challenge anybody watching this video to read it. I will link my Amazon link below to get a copy. But this is a great read. I'm not done. I'm still reading it. Um, so I definitely would uh, recommend anybody who's watching this to get this. Especially in our current climate. This is it. You need to get this. So oh, really, y'all see all these books here? These are a copy of all of the grade level texts in my middle school that we used because I told you guys I worked on curriculum over the summer, so I had all of the books to reference. And it's some, these are really good books, but I don't know where to put them. I'm going to have to make space on this bookshelf figure out that. So I just don't have the space for them. My birthday coupons from my daughter. I really be using these.
now I'm supposed to be finishing my creative hub, but I'm just going to finish it in the morning because I just had to get this done. Because if I didn't, I would not find the time to do it tomorrow. So, we'll pick it up in the morning. So it is day two and I am sitting here organizing what is left of the office space or the creative hub just trying to make sure that everything has a place of its own so that we know exactly where to put all things back um, I use these bags that I've had for quite some time to organize additional utensils so like crayons markers they all have their own bag that's similar to this one If it's not obvious I am a stationary collector or a stationary junkie I love stickers I love planner accessories I love planners I love certain pens pencils all things organization is my thing um, and I find myself collecting this stuff which is not a good trait but I love it I love it so much What I like Jumping from a roof that is almost too high Laying on the grass, I close my eyes Playing my guitar to my fingers and numb almost done with this space over here but I just feel like above the um, gallery wall I feel like I need like a quote or something up there do you guys think that I should put an actual quote or should I put something custom like Kane's creative hub but it's not like just my creative hub so I don't know what do you guys think a quote or leave it as is or what a few days after shooting that, Dante surprised me with an iMac because Dax broke my actual laptop. Um, I still got it fixed, but the game has changed, guys. I am in love with this laptop. But that is it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. If you like what you see and you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. Until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.